Green Drive project is, uh, is a follower of uh, an, an earlier attempt with uh, other uh, institutes. We had the Car Ecology, which was uh, a number of courses to, which were presented to all students all over Europe to be followed in uh, Antwerp. We wanted to take that to the next level. The students will not have only lessons in Belgium. They will also follow courses uh, in, first in Belgium, then they will be for one semester in Loughborough, England. And then they can go either to uh, Bordeaux in France or to Bilbao in Spain. And the second year they will do a master's project and then that they can do anywhere in the world. We are now looking for partners in Indonesia, India, all over the world to find opportunities for our students to do their master's project. If you look to the world of today and to the cities of today, there's something very bizarre going on. The car is no longer freedom. I mean, you are in a traffic jam. We in Brussels, we are 162 kilometers. We have 1.2 million inhabitants every day. 400,000 commuters are coming in. You will see all these cars, most of the time, with one human being in it. So the car is a very inefficient way of moving people around. Well, the uh, European Commission very recently, on the 20th of July, announced you know, the new um, low emissions uh, mobility strategy, and I think this master that you have already developed is moving towards this direction. It is my pleasure to participate in the Green Drive Education Conference and I'm here to share about uh, projects we do at Cal State LA. We, in my classes I try to teach students to work in a high-tech industry that relates to fuel cells, uh, electric vehicles, um, photovoltaics, uh, data acquisition. So basically I would like my students to work in R&D and developing new technologies for the future. I think this conference is great, you know, it really brings together a few of the trends and what, what was on my mind was this conference highlights it, that, that people don't use transport because they want transport, they use transport to get to some place. So actually the question that we're trying to answer goes deeper, so why don't people live where they work? Because it's mostly about commuting. Commuting causes most of the trouble and most of the external costs. You know, the roads are clogged up and other people can't use them. So internalizing these costs would be something that I think could radically change the transport landscape. The government of India and the Society of Indian Automotive Manufacturer, they have put in place a very ambitious plan called AMP 2026. As per this plan, it is going to contribute to 12% of GDP and create more than 65 million employment of highly skilled, semi-skilled and unskilled manpower. And also it is expected to have one of the three nations in the world uh, manufacturing and exporting vehicles. It is uh, definitely interesting for Indian universities as well as students in India to look uh, for a project like Green Drive. Having the possibility for, for a young man or a young woman in, in their 20s to go to three different countries and share their experiences and, of course, acquire the knowledge, of course. But having that uh, possibility is really, really important for our companies because nowadays our companies are totally globalized and that, that's the kind of people they need.